Without further ado, welcome to this episode of the Infographic Show, Stereotypes About Different European Countries. We'll go through the list in alphabetical order, and that means our first place is Austria. We'll hazard a guess and say that many of our viewers haven't visited this small country that sits in Central Europe. For that reason, you'll know little more about Austrians than the dubious fact that they all like to drink beer, wear funny green hats, and of course enjoy yodeling. Over in Belgium, people are also natural-born beer connoisseurs, but besides that, they love nothing more than filling their faces with fries and chocolate. According to the stereotype, they are a funny breed who take life at a relaxed pace, except they can't seem to agree on speaking just one language. France is easy, because it's one of the most stereotyped places on the planet. Yeah, they drink a lot of wine, and yes, they love their food and hate the English. They are a haughty bunch, critical of many things, and are not afraid to tell you. They seem to have a penchant for the stranger things in life, and that's why they have a history of making very messed up movies or writing books that most of the world think should be banned. The French don't care, they are proud of being the world's avant-garde. Those Germans are just good at everything. They are never, ever late, and even take great pains in organizing just a breakfast. They are all born with an acumen for engineering, but unfortunately this hasn't helped their ability to cook cuisine that isn't bland. All they seem to eat is sausage and potato and sauerkraut, washed down with beer of Life is very different in Greece, where the folks live a much more laid-back lifestyle. They are all hairy for some reason, including the women. Nothing is more important than family, and you'll find the Greeks spending hours around the family table involved in gossiping about someone else's family. Over to Ireland, and everyone in this alcohol-soaked nation likes nothing more than to sing and be merry. They love a bit of the crake, and no, we're not talking about the kind you smoke with a pipe. Don't make them angry though, as the men, and women actually, are natural born boxers. Well, that's beside all the soft spoken poets living in Ireland. A strange stereotype came from Sigmund Freud, who once famously said they were the only people who are impervious to psychoanalysis. Italians, on the other hand, don't bottle anything up because they just talk and shout and argue with anyone and everyone. These people are passionate about everything, especially food. If they can, they'll do everything the easiest way possible, even if that means breaking a few rules. They are yet to grasp political correctness when it comes to sexual relations, and for them, a bit of wolf whistling is fair game. You could say people really enjoy the three Fs, food, football, and fashion. And to be sure, they'll tell you all Over to the Netherlands, the country of progressive clog wearers who speak perfect English but with a very funny accent, these tall blue-eyed people like nothing more than to ride around on a bicycle stoned out of their minds. If they are not doing that, they are attending to their windmill or tulip garden. So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Yeah. 